So hi everyone, I am extremely happy to have with me a dear, dear student, Dr. Shalini Senthil. She's a proud Damsonian and she secured an amazing double digit rank of 73 in INI set May 2023. So heartiest congratulations, Shalini. We are so proud of you. How are you feeling about your performance? Uh, thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you for the appreciation. And I'm uh, overwhelmed uh, from yesterday. I couldn't even sleep and stop smiling. I'm Aww. very much happy. It was like a great comeback for me. Uh, like after need, uh, my results were not that good. And I was uh, devastated so much. So uh, there's something like uh, I'm in abundant joy. I couldn't explain. No, this is absolutely amazing. And that is... That is what you can do. Either you can feel bad about what has happened or you can take it as a challenge and have a comeback. So Shalini, uh, since you said you did not perform up to your mark, uh, you know, in NEET PG exam, I think it was around 7,000 your rank? Uh, 6,190 in NEET mark. All, all right. So, you know, uh, when you decided that, no, you're going to give another exam, tell me how difficult was that decision by itself? And there must be a lot of inertia. So how did you decide and how did you move forward from there? So to start with, I'm a dance regular student. Uh, so my primary source of uh, preparation was from uh, dance class notes, which is, okay. uh, which is absolutely gold standard and uh, precise and concise to the point. Uh, they just, uh, the faculties just give what is needed in exact quantity, nothing uh, less, nothing more. Um, so that's how I started. I, uh, uh, as a, a regular student, when I started itself, I felt very amazing. That was a whole new experience. Uh, like uh, not only uh, from studies, that was a total personality change for me. Uh -huh. Actually, I became functional by uh, coming to dance. Never in my life I have been functional. Wow. Uh, just to get those front row seats, I used to come one hour before to the class. Um, so, yes, uh, dance notes was the first thing. Um, in need, what I missed was um, I didn't revise my notes. I was uh, I read my notes once. After the class, I completed my notes and uh, few bank uh, modules from dance as much as possible. But okay. um, uh, towards the end, I lost, I lost that momentum and uh, I couldn't uh, uh, keep myself uh, uh, up with reading. And uh, I just lost it there, I think. Yeah. And this time I, I didn't want to do that. I made a proper schedule and uh, uh, I, I followed, even though I couldn't follow 100% of it, I uh, tried my level best and I uh, followed all of it. Um, okay. So I completed my, with, uh, post need, I completed my uh, notes completely, uh, which were ah. from dams. And okay. um, in par with that, I uh, gave GTs uh, of previous year papers uh, on alternate days, like I gave like 13 GTs within the April month on wow. alternate days. And okay. um, uh, I reviewed the answers that I got wrong as much as possible with the explanations. Um, hmm. So uh, eventually I was studying on par with that. And um, uh, so, yeah, that uh, previous year questions and explanations, uh, that really played a major role. And uh, yeah, back where the this wall is like, PYQ wall, whatever uh, mistakes I made in PYQs, I just uh, throw them and uh, stuck it on the wall. Uh, so, yes, that's how, um, never in my life I made a schedule. That was the first mistake I committed in, while uh, doing, uh, preparing for need. And this time I, uh, I just uh, came out of all my, uh, you know, odds, uh, like uh, right from waking up early and uh, right from making a schedule, being regular. Everything, everything was totally new and yes, that's how, uh, and uh, yeah, it's like a uh, total knockout of your self-confidence after uh, uh, the results you didn't, uh, if you didn't uh, uh, get the results what you expected. So picking myself back from uh, all that uh, uh, rock bottom position and uh, reading again was difficult, but I never gave up. Even uh, uh, Sumesha used to tell, like, you should write your dream and you should always see it. I have it in uh, my, <laughs> yeah, just like I'll, uh, wow. I'll have it by my side always. I wrote it there, like, I want to do MD medicine. And uh, I always had this on my side. Um, whenever I feel down, I used to see that. 
and i'll say to myself yes you want it and you have to go towards it no matter what happens and see you did it in style yes yes <laughs> now we are we are You're deciding we're not going to compromise so now from yes. you know we are we are not going to do something that is given to us we will do what we want to do right yes and uh, i love every bit of what you have said shalini i can see a totally revamped shalini in every aspect uh confidence happiness quotient satisfaction you know everything i can uh, feel in your voice and your body language and that's what makes us better right the process is what makes you better it it's it was already in you it wasn't something that is acquired it was in you you just took some time to realize your own potential yes, and once you did that there was no coming back and i think i must absolutely congratulate you on the kind of efforts you have done because not only is it sheer hard work it is also very well planned hard work uh, you knew that you have the content with you so first since uh, i knew it is uh, more of first and second year subjects so i just started off with the anatomy uh, physio and biochem uh, okay. so when i started uh, i just completed the notes and i uh, do pyq modules as much as possible and okay. i'll uh, add on to the points and the explanations uh, so since the questions are uh, mostly uh, around previous topics so i just focus more on that things and i added on even a uh, every single thing that basically on that all also like um, whatever the extra points that i find which may be a possible question i just uh, added on uh, like very few things very selected things only from pyqs so that is something i added to my um, maybe i don't know it's, uh, whether it's the right thing to do one month before exam but uh, just i uh, did since it was from the pyqs and um, uh so um the alternate every alternate days i i told i'll give gts so uh, in the afternoon like while i'm eating while i'm uh, you know while i'm feeling bored i used to review those questions also and i'll uh, note the mistakes and uh, points from those explanations um so first i completed this first and second year subjects very thoroughly so um i i just don't want to miss any marks in first and second year subjects as i am uh, from college days i am uh, strong in first and second year cross comparatively mm-hmm. to third and fourth year so right. um, i just uh, enhanced that and made sure i never made a mistake in those and then i started off with um, ofthal ent and tsm for ofthal ent and uh, um, those short subjects i uh, didn't uh, spend much of my time uh i did the previous year questions i uh, read the, i went through the notes once and uh, this uh, uh, psychiatry and all those things i uh, completed with them itself and then i um, read on medicine one thing about uh, dams notes is uh, like everything is concise so uh, you have to be thorough with every single word of it like uh, medicine and path is uh, whatever uh, has not been uh, covered in path will be covered in medicine so um, i made sure that i uh, had to uh, cover all those notes properly and so i did medicine and uh, uh, obg and then uh, last year i kept it for surgery uh, so which is like uh, had more classifications and uh, the volatile stuff so i kept uh, kept surgery for uh, last and then um, i planned the second revision for the last eight days um so with that um, i completed the notes and uh, in the last eight days also i uh, went through my notes again um uh, uh, reading for the other time uh, it was like so easy and uh, i know exactly where to look in the notes where to uh, recall what things to recall um yes uh, sir has uh, emphasized every single time sumesh sir used to tell uh, if you uh, like uh, don't remember something properly it is due to lack of revision i realized that very lately um, so that is how when i revised my notes for the second time uh, nothing felt new i was uh, thorough with it and uh, i could easily go through pages like uh, i i used to read like uh, two pages for a minute i'll keep timer every 30 seconds uh, so i'll complete one page that's how i was reading because i was short on time i just used to go through notes very fastly and um, at the same time in the last eight days also i i, I did pyqs again after uh, completing all those tts i just uh, did the pyq modules again so that um, it was like one more revision of pyq um, pyqs and uh, something that we uh, i felt i should be careful was 
uh, like while answering the PYQs in exams, we must uh, make sure to read the question carefully because uh, there may be like a minor difference in the question, like exact same PYQ may be repeated or there may be a minor glitch in there. So yeah. that is something uh, every time we solve that is a new question. That is how I uh, fixed it in my mind. Whenever I think that's what I uh, followed. Great, wonderful. And I guess that is a very detailed strategy and it shows that you were totally in it. I mean, you were keeping track of your minor, minor progress as well. And that has really helped you. Now, let's talk something about the exam day. Can you highlight us on how aggressive you went? What was your approach? What was the time management? And what would you recommend to someone who's going to prepare for the November exam? So um, uh, what I missed in the past exams was time management. I was really bad at it. Um, I, I used to, I, I, I failed to keep an eye on the time actually. Uh, that is what a mistake I made in me. Uh, this time, uh, since I have done a lot of cheaties, I uh, what I had in my mind was to do 80, 80 and um, uh, 40. That's what I had in my mind, but I couldn't do it. I was like around the, in first year, I did like 60 questions, which was a bit of lag, but still uh, the questions demanded it. Okay, fine. Then uh, I didn't panic and uh, I just went on fast in the second half. And um, in second hour, I did like some uh, 100 questions. And towards oh. the end, uh, uh, towards the end, I had uh, like uh, 20, uh, 15 to 20 minutes for uh, reviewing the questions that I, that I marked. And I didn't mark much of questions. I attempted like 196 questions. Um, I left four questions unattempted, which were purely uh, theoretical and uh, I had no idea about. That's uh, that's what I left. Um, as much as possible, I, uh, I, I was sure that I should never leave a question unattempted. That's how uh, I went because uh, you, you never know like uh, what uh, what will be the right answer. Um, regarding INE, it is more of logic. So... It is always good to attempt more uh, that yeah. uh, I think that gets you the marks. In GT is also that was, uh, that is what I learned. Uh, whenever I attempted more, I scored more. And um, yeah, definitely uh, this uh, Bart syndrome, I, I remember when, when I'm attempting, that was, I was just like remembering my notes. It just uh, came to my mind, like where it is, what color I have written. And uh, was panicking for a moment. I confused it with uh, Barlow. And like oh. I was thinking, okay, okay, just, uh, just chill, <laughs> okay, you know, you know where it is, you know what it is. And then I, I uh, came up with the answer eventually. And uh, that is how you must be uh, very thorough with your notes. That is most think, important to get you into the ranks. Yes, I think very, very aptly said that if you're good with your concepts, you know, you can always uh, mark a little difficult question also by ruling out. Because some of the options will be from what you know, what you have read. And by correlating, you can rule them out. And that is the rule of the game, that you go aggressive and uh, you try and rule out and you try and mark unless you don't know anything about all four options. You know, that is yes. a different game altogether. Perfect. And the time management, yes, because this time a lot of students did feel that they had a crunch on the time and uh, they couldn't really do it that well. But she's right. Keeping a track on every hour is important so that you can cover up and pace up in certain areas wherever it is required. Great. And uh, whatever you think in the first attempt, it, that will be the right answer most of the time. If you overthink the question, uh, there is a lot of possibility that you may go wrong. Uh, like 40 to 60 seconds is the maximum time you can spend on a question. If, you, uh, like sp if you're spending more time, then uh, it's probably you're getting it wrong. Uh, that is something, a uh, learning point from, uh, like I gave like four exams and that is what I learned all throughout. And um, yeah, th that is how I took a uh, pace in the second half. If not for it, I would, uh, I would have missed like uh, a lot of questions in the end. So I just went on fast in the second half. So, so what branch do you want to pursue, Shalini? Because you seem uh, to be a very, very dedicated worker. So I would really want to know wh which branch do you want to opt for? I want to do medicine, ma'am. Yeah, I just heard that before. So, okay, that's that's great. And I'm sure you will be doing your best in the branch and you will be making a lot of difference. And Shani, can you tell us something, uh, you know, that you would tell your listeners right now? Uh, something non-academic, something that they need to have 
in order to do well in the exam anything mindset strategy or whatever you feel is the essential part other than academics um so whatever may be the situation wherever you may be uh, right now your position may not be that good right now uh, you may be uh, not getting a good rank or anything anywhere in at any point of life you may feel that uh, this is not the place uh, i deserve more you have to wait and you have to uh, hold on to the belief you have to have faith uh, that is very much important uh, uh, mm-hmm. even after finishing the exam i didn't watch any recall videos i just mm-hmm. uh, you know it is seven more days i should believe that i did well and i'll get a good rank i just uh, logged out of my youtube account and i didn't watch any recall videos yesterday night only i just uh, watched all the recall videos like how i did after uh-huh. getting my results After so i just uh, held on to the faith uh, uh, and uh, i believe that i will definitely get a good good rank uh, because i know like i have worked uh, hard for the past 6 uh. and a half years or so so uh, i don't want to uh, you know uh, like uh, test that in 7 days for uh, uh, so i just uh, hold on to it whatever belief you have whatever uh, what do you believe you will become i uh, i very sure of that i believe in this manifestation thing so much and um, and i think it goes very well if i can read your shirt well it says chase your dreams <laughs> yes and very very aptly said and uh, something to believe on you have to have faith in your abilities you have to dream big and you have to make it happen life is all about you know having new challenges and conquering them and finding out more about your own self right so uh, we at entire and the entire dams family uh, shalini wishes you a very bright future ahead it's been a, a pleasure final word ma'am uh, yes. i just want to thank uh, all the faculties like uh, my uh, where i got a spark in my preparation was like uh, dr yes. anshu sir's anesthesia class because i Great. know uh, i was uh, having zero knowledge about anesthesia before anesthesia? coming to this class and yeah. um, he was giving like many life advices and uh, mm-hmm. that was a whole on different class and tirusa's uh, class like every i was sitting in the front row and i was like interacting with most of the faculties uh, whenever i used to give wrong answers also they used to make fun and all and the class was very much fun <laughs> the chennai class was really amazing um, okay. faculties used to answer uh, for every stupid answer i gave and they used to uh, respond very well even after um, even i ma- uh, your queries you mail they reply you so fast uh, and anilsa's class is one of my favorite class Great. and um, yeah it was very funny i ne- uh, like finishing obg in four days it's uh, something uh, phenomenal i would say and yeah. uh, uh uh and yeah like every every single faculty and uh, a special thanks to uh, sumesh sir uh, the radiology class in uh, chennai auditorium it's uh, so much of uh, you know uh, like uplifting uh, so much of positive energy i got after that class so uh, very much thanks to dams faculties and uh, whole dams so team the dams chennai team for uh, making my dream come true uh, thank you so much ma'am It's been an absolute pleasure uh, bache to have you with us and to be a part of your journey we are privileged and we wish you all the very best and may you always keep smiling like this so give my regards thank to you your parents as well uh, wishing you good luck thank you so much alni thank you ma'am thank you